Good morning, brethren. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Welcome to True Worshippers Evangelistic Center Morning Devotions. This morning, I want to talk with you a little bit on God's purpose. The scripture I'm going to use is Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. And that scripture says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. This scripture refers to a specific people, the called, not to any and everyone. A lot of people many times usually say, all things work together for good, yes? And they stop right there. However, this scripture is only true to them that are called and to them that love God. To love God would mean or imply that you know Him, and knowing Him would mean that you keep His commandments and live according to His will, and according to our scripture, His purpose. That's the other part of the verse. His purpose, not our purpose. These are important things to understand when reading this verse. We are dealing with them that love God, and we, we are dealing with the called, and we are dealing with His purpose. Purpose, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, means something set up as an object or end to be attained. God has a specific plan or design He is working towards. Every single account revealed in the Bible has a place in accomplishing and revealing God's purpose. One of the best scriptural accounts of this verse is the account of Joseph. Joseph went through quite a lot of bad things, being hated by his brothers, sold as a slave, framed and imprisoned. Yet as terrible as all these experiences were for Joseph, he was called of God. And in the end, these experiences worked out for his good and the accomplishment of God's purpose. God's immediate purpose for allowing Joseph to go through all these things was to save Israel in the time of famine. The long-term purpose was to get Israel into Egypt, graft Israel into Egypt, establish Israel as a nation through whom he would send the Messiah Jesus, the promised seed, who would crush the head of the serpent, restore man back to the relationship he had with God in the Garden of Eden, thus restoring man back to the original image he was created in, which is God's image, and re-establish the dominion man was originally created to have. Now that's what I call a purpose. So you see how important Joseph was in this great plan and purpose of God. Yet he would not have known all of this. The Lord only showed him according to scripture up until when his brethren bowed down before him. But he loved God enough to trust him and uphold his integrity to all his trials. So what is the ultimate purpose of God? According to Romans 8.29, for us to be conformed to the image of his own son and ultimately for us to be, according to Romans 8.31, glorified. The original design and purpose of man was to be in the image of God. As the Bible says, let us make man in our own image after our likeness and let them have dominion over all the earth. When this restoration of man is accomplished in its fullest, God will establish his kingdom right here on earth. So you see, nothing happens to the call of God by accident. God has a special end he is working towards. By accepting the call of God, we become part of this great purpose God is working out here on earth. Therefore, all the trials and testings we go through is nothing compared to the glory that will be, will be revealed in us. That's according to Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. The Bible also says that we are God's workmanship. He's working on us every day to become more like Him. That's according to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. So when you understand God is in complete control of everything, you can just rest in His will and know with all confidence that nothing happens in your life. Being called of God by accident or coincidence, God allows it for your development and to accomplish and the accomplishment of His purpose. To know the end or purpose makes the journey not easier but more tolerable. Therefore, understanding God's purpose for your life spurs you onward. As the Bible says, where there is no vision, the people perish. That's in Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. I want to encourage you today, get into your focus, God's purpose. 
and let your life be the fulfillment of His purpose for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.